come back. We've been gone for two weeks because of Roggle. We've been gone two weeks because of Roggle. He's back. Listen to me. I was gone for a few days. Roggle was gone. He left the country. He went AWOL. So, I was out. We are, we are back. We're at it again. And a lot of stuff maybe change. I don't know. We'll see what we do. He claims to be broke. <laughs> yeah. Now there's nothing but nothing but time to do to do content. That's good. Like I said, key to success is being broke. Key to the success is definitely uh, financially influenced. Yes, you can't do anything else. You're able to make more content because you're broke as shit. I'm getting ready yes. to get back into full time streaming because I'm making money. So, financially influence is probably the best way yes. to phrase it. Uh, so, with that said, we're going to dive into something that's been kind of a hot subject going around, at least in the streamer world, and that is, as a streamer, your content that you're live streaming being other people's live streaming, you're reviewing them. So, it's a live stream within a live stream as a review so that's not super complicated to understand I apologize if it is simply put if Roggle's streaming and he's playing Call of Duty and I wanted to live stream his channel and review his gameplay and everything that seems to be the controversial or polarizing topic going around the streamer world right now and it's interesting to have heard and seen everybody's justification for one way or the other but i with me going full-time streaming and you maybe possibly kind of sort of thinking about it because your financial situation <laughs> <laughs> i figured this would be a perfect subject to kind of get like your perspective on my perspective on and just kind of with our whopping amazing amount of followers on our channels. Yes. We're very small. Like a goldfish in the fucking ocean. <laughs> exactly, yes. Yes. So I, so what you're seeing you're seeing a lot of I know these big big streamers that are reviewing other streamers. It's or it's, it's just like anybody that it's basically anyone, but for what I've been uh, running across and deep diving into is it's majority, like, you've surpassed that level of, you know, 20 to 30 active chatters, and now you're up to, like, 50 to a few hundred. And then I've also okay. seen some big-time, bigger streamers, not necessarily, like, Tim the Tatman, but, like, that level of audience. Mm -hmm being called out and blasted and just shit upon for doing this type of stuff. So I I, I want to say not Amareth, she's on kick. One of the one of the fe big female streamers, I can't think of her name. I have her whole picture in my head. I know what she looks like, but she was blasted. She took a three week hiatus from streaming because she was getting so much negativity in her chat. And people just coming at her to making like TikToks and shorts and reels of her channel. And it was basically her reviewing people playing Call of Duty, which is what her content normally is. And she's just trashing on them. And she's not good to begin with either. Like she's my skill level of Call of Duty. And if you guys are curious, tune in on Thursday nights. We live stream that. You can see it all. He's way harder on himself than he actually is. He's not horrible. He just doesn't want to drop shot. And he's met a few That's it. We're done. <laughs> Episode's over. We got the compliment. Go home, fuckers. <laughs> Snip that. Four minutes, 50 seconds. Got it. I, I know that uh, TP does a lot, but he uh, people actually submit their their clips and stuff to him, and he will yeah. critique their, their movement and stuff like that. So that's one that I've seen him do. I know... I guess I've seen Tim do it a lot whenever he just 
uh, spectates people after he dies or just spectates yeah. him, period, and does it at the same time. But I don't know, it's not really seen a whole lot, but there's a lot of backlash happening, huh? I haven't seen any backlash or I guess really paid attention to it, but um, if this female yeah. streamer did get backlash like, backlash like that, that's funny. Yeah, it, it was literally I, what started it would have been like beginning of March. I caught a TikTok video and if it's ever about streaming, I always just kind of like watch it because it's either it, it's a fix inside my head going, oh, you're fucking stupid or this is stupid or this is like, and then very seldomly is like, hold on, that's a good idea. That's actually a pretty good idea. But that one video led me to go down a rabbit hole because uh, I, I want to say it was, I'm not going to say their name in case I'm wrong, just for anonymity and, you know, our safe. But it was a male streamer who was kind of going after other people and his live stream, he's like, this is the best way to make content. This is the best way to hit um, 10,000 subscribers and followers on YouTube, Kick or Facebook or Twitch is to do it like this is to go watch somebody's live stream and you stream that and you don't need their permission because of whatever freedom bullshit thing he specified it. And basically all it says is if it's up on the internet, you have legal right to watch it and review it unless it's behind a paywall with Amazon prime. Not everyone can watch Amazon prime on Twitch. They have to be prime members, but so he goes and he's like, this is the quickest way. You just literally pull up anybody's channel that's live and don't connect to them. You know, just don't connect to the voice chat, just connect to their actual channel, have it up. And he, he, he's sitting there and he was getting shit on in his comments for doing that because I don't even know what game he normally plays, like what's his main game, but he was just getting shit on because people were like, that's such a cheap form of entertainment. You're not a broadcaster. You're not you're like, you're not watching football. It would be different if it was a sports type con uh, commentator or like WWE or football or basketball where you're watching a live game and you're commenting on that. You know, LeBron sucks. Peyton's overrated, whatever. Like it's, that's okay. But live streaming other games is considered cheap. And like almost stealing content. And that's the big pick right now is you're stealing somebody's content that they worked hard mm -hmm. to create, whether they know you stole it in the moment or not. But it can be any range of players. Like I get, I get like you submitting clips and saying, hey, Sig, review this clip of me. And like, cool. Yeah. Got your permission. We got approval. Mm -hmm. Done. If that's your whole shtick, makes sense but the way this is being portrayed and spoken about and demonstrated is it's just somebody hopping on going oh he has 50 viewers let me hop into the stream oh man roggles is sucking at this he's he's missing this shot he should do a drop shot why is this bitch always camping like it's literally stuff like that and majority of the time i've been seeing it's more toxicity or negativity than uh Positivity, I guess, would be the best way to phrase it. So, yeah, I think that's why it's so polarizing, is the people who are doing it. It's coming across as bashing. Uh, but the few who are doing legitimate reviews are good. Like, I've seen it for Skull and Bones, the people going to say, I'm just going to check out other people's live stream. Let's check this out. And theirs was interesting because they specifically chose streamers who don't have a webcam, face cam. So it kind of looks like they're just watching gameplay, but they're watching somebody's actual live content, which was the other side of, is that stealing content? They're not really like protecting themselves, so to speak, by putting their face out there. It's just gameplay. So that's like muddy water, so to speak, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, it, could, it could go both ways. I, could, I mean, I can see how Yes, you could be considered stealing content. Obviously, you're literally taking somebody else's channel, putting it up on yours, in a way promoting it by doing what you're doing. If you have a decent amount of viewers, yeah, that person is also going to get some publicity because you are putting them out there, their channels out there, where you may not know it. Um, not saying that it's, it's the best way to do it, 
Uh, but if they're just literally getting on there and shitting on them, because that's that's what they do, I mean that's that's pretty fucked up. But I I could see. I mean I don't think I really have a huge problem with it. But yeah, it is cheap content. I'll, I will I will yeah. agree with that. But I think with at the same time, you have guys that will stream WWE and stuff like that. Yeah, Ugh. and that's and they will commentate on it and try to gain nah, that's... the same thing. I mean. At the same time, I mean, I can't, I can't get mad at it, but I mean, if you're just gonna be a straight up dick as you're trying to do it and just shit on everything they're doing, I mean, that's, I guess, enjoy the way you do do your content, I guess. Like, do your thing. That's where the internet's the internet. Yeah, that's like I fully agree with that. I don't care if it's done, as long as it's like it's the toxicity side of the house that kind of yeah. ruins it and leaves a very bitter taste in the mouth of your it's already very cheap very cheap entertainment whatever to each of their own if you're doing like legitimate legitimate reviews or if you're going to do it ideally this is the way i think it should be done if you're going to do it would be i'm reviewing you i hop in your stream i make myself known saying hey asking or not whatever be like hey i'm live stream right now are you okay if i stream your uh, stream you and do commentary on it this is the content i make i'll make sure to send your username whatever like uh do a push basically on your channel of saying hey this is who we're checking out if you want to go watch the live content please head over to his channel right now watch it come back or uh, bounce back and forth between it's like whatever give them a chance to actually go over and see it if you're not going to get approval to at least just be there be like hey what's going on how you doing and just like be a part of the chat so where the the other streamer that's actually gaming gets something out of it it's beneficial to him and you can even chat to in there it's like hey really good drop shot or that's amazing you hit, you got somebody from 200 meters away with that weapon whatever or did you know this weapon's meta this weapon's broken this weapon sucks this is there like assisting and helping along the way while you're also reviewing would like it's a it's a catch-22 situation like you're helping them and you're to a degree stealing views because in theory quote unquote in theory everyone who's watching you is not watching him directly so if you have a following up hundred thousand people watching you and the person you're watching only has 500 people or 20 then yes you're putting them in the limelight and yes they're getting views but they're not getting your viewerships so the least you could do is be like hey go over there type hi type lurk whatever like a cheap command which is like i think every streamer should have the lurk command so where it's a simple they get credit for a chat the bot gets to come in and say, hey, so-and-so is uh, here, but not chatting or whatever the uh, command they structure they want. But then they get another cool. chat system. And that gives the streamer to look over and be like, oh, thanks, Roggle, for, for uh, showing up. Thanks for the lurk. I won't call on you. Whatever. And then at least they get the views, they get the chat, and they get the bot chat as well, and it boosts their numbers a little bit versus just staying on one person's channel and not really assisting them. That's like, I have no beef with it, but if you're going to do it, that would be the most proper way to do it, yeah, I guess. I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> if, is there a proper way to do the, this? Probably not, but that's the best way I think to do it, is build a, build your community in that, if that manner that if you're going to essentially help other streamers build their stream or just build your own stream by essentially promoting others content and commentating yeah. over it, commenting on it. Um, yeah, I mean, if they wanted to go into the into the actual chat and say, hey, this is my plan, this is what I'm doing, um, you know, and they can also say, you know, I will be honest with it. If you're, if you're shit, I'm going to say you're shit. Yeah. Or say, you know, I'm just going to commentate on a period and leave it at that. So I, I am, if I was to, do that i wouldn't you know i wouldn't go in just being straight negative about everything because i'm obviously trying to build the community that i have but i wouldn't want to be coming across as a toxic asshole 
the entire time because anytime you pop in or anybody knows who you are and you pop into theirs, they're going to say no. But at the same time, you can't stop them from doing it. No, I mean, well, so if they want to do it, they're going to do it. The streamer can because they can. This only works on Twitch. Uh, at least to my knowledge, it only works on Twitch. Is the streamer that's being reviewed, call it reviewed streaming, the streamer that's being reviewed can go to the reviewer's channel and report the live as copyright material or fraudulent material or whatever, basically saying it's stolen content. And Twitch will stop the live stream and issue a 24-hour ban because they are stealing your content. I have seen that work. So it's just a matter of do you want to stop what you're doing, especially if you're like in a solid match, you know, for me, if I'm getting over 10 kills, I'm like, I'm not going to fucking go waste my time with you. I'm going to focus on this game. Uh, it's kind of where mods come to play. But you have to be the one yeah. that, that reports it because it's the option of me or someone I know. And the likelihood of the someone I know option being taken effect instantaneously is slim to none. Whereas if you're saying it's me, then they can review both live streams within like 10 minutes and they can compare them and say, yep, stolen content, but original fraud and then 24 hour ban um, i've seen that work on other people's live stream who've gotten really pissed off at toxic reviewers would be the best way mm. but your community is very crucial for you when you stream whether it's for subs to those who like are dedicated to growing their subscription or just building a community in general you you will gain a reputation especially within smaller niche communities like say power world if i'm a very piece of shit human being in power world and i'm doing these reviews then the name spreads really quick especially if i have a large following if and especially if you're using this fucking content on like tiktok youtube instagram facebook like you're putting your shittiness out there they're going to find out and you're going to be fucked so I don't have a problem with it though, but it seems to be a very polarizing subject right now with so many people, sorry, supposedly so many people. I have a hard time finding them on Twitch. I find them more easily on YouTube and typically it's a YouTuber live streaming a Twitch or kick or Facebook account. So that's a little bit harder to report because it's two different platforms, two different ownerships, mm -hmm. and you can't really prove it's you without a dispute. And by the time the dispute happens and it gets clarified and like resolved, they already got the the viewership, they already got the RPMs, they already got the possible payout for it. Like it takes a while. Yeah. So Yeah, which I mean that's the that's the internet. Multiple, multiple ways to do things and get away with it without literally having to do anything. Just yeah. stealing others' content or just piggybacking off of somebody's content. I, I would, no, I still think it's stealing. If you're not doing it in an official capacity, meaning like mm -hmm. getting some type of approval or pushing your community base over to theirs. Yeah. Like, again, being toxic and not really promoting just really dirty tactics in my opinion like you should do oh, yeah it, no i no yeah. biggie type thing either yeah and yeah just for anybody that's that says you know i don't want to we're not coming across hypocritical or anything like that yes we've live streamed some things before and we got our hands slapped i got but... 40 hour fucking mute <laughs> But, I mean, it happens. Sorry, bam. I was suspended. We got... <laughs> I think it was just <laughs> one of those things. Yeah. So it was, I mean, yeah. It happens. We knew it was a possibility. I got away with yeah, it once. So. I got greedy, did it twice. Yep. But, I mean, yeah, we're not innocent in all of it, but at the same time, like, like for hours anyways, I definitely was like, hey, this is over on this platform. If you want to watch it live, go watch it there. I'm not airing commercials. We yada, yada, yada. Like, I did full-on uh, detailed description and 
accreditation are going, this isn't mine. We're just watching it. That's a watch party. Yeah. Chill out. Uh, it was the music that got us in trouble of all fucking things. Music. It's so weird. And that's like, oh, it's weird. Because I've, the, the whole music thing, DMCA, all that stuff, just it's just weird. Because I've, I've started playing music on my streams, and I've noticed that now I get my audio muted if it's certain songs. The copyright catches it, but I don't yeah. get any, I haven't, I haven't yet got any DMCA strikes. So I'm waiting on it. I mean, if I do, I do whatever. But you can see in sections of my, of my, uh, on demands that there, there's audio. It even says that audio muted for copyright. Yeah, and it's you no. Know, so there's certain sections that it mutes it. Once I pause it or stop the music, audio comes back. Yeah. So it's just one of those things. I first time I saw, it, I'm like, oh great, I got a strike. But I haven't gotten one. It just gets okay. muted. YouTube will. So I've played live or not live. I've played like my iTunes, and. Mm -hmm. I just fall out because I was in like, I don't give a fuck. Ban me. I'll create another account. I don't care. Yeah. Um, but I play live music and Twitch has done that where they're just like, they mute the segment. There's been times where they just mute like portions of the song and not the whole fucking song. Like it's just the <laughs> intro and just the chorus. And I think yeah. I was, it was Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks. I was streaming. And it literally cut the chorus out of I Got Friends in Low Places. And then all of a sudden, you hear just like the melody and everything later on. You're like, what the? F Either mute it all <laughs> or don't touch it. This is because it makes it sound like I'm over here going mute, unmute, mute, unmute, mute, unmute, mute, unmute. Like I'm not, I promise you. I mean, I definitely could be. I have a hotkey on my, on my keyboard, but it's not where I play anymore. So, but yeah. It <laughs> You YouTube will just say like uh content violation and then they'll give you the option do you want to mute that segment? Do you want to turn the sound the music off, which is beta still doesn't work all the time, or um leave it in and understand you cannot make any money off this video. But the funny thing is like the music I play on YouTube will often say this is not allowed in, and then it's like New Zealand, Australia, Russia, Ukraine. China, North Korea. I was like, I don't give a fucking shit. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> like for whatever reason, it just, it's not available in those countries. But in the U.S., I can't. So I was like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. It works in North America and Europe. Those are like those are my prime demographic numbers. I think. If you're over in so Russia watching my shit, let me know. I can't speak Russian though, so just understand. I won't know what you're saying. I've had that happen when I've had somebody from Korea. Uh, was it Korea? Yeah, because they were in Seoul. They were chatting and legitimately came across in like Korean. I was like, I have no idea what you're saying, man. I'm so sorry. And type, type, type. And there's like probably six, seven threads. And I was like, I have no idea what he's saying. So I had to pause my game, go over to Google Translate, Korean to English. Highlight, copy, paste. You suck at this game. <laughs> No, no, because it wasn't it wasn't a Call of Duty. It was like Destiny or whatever. And he's like, "What's your favorite build? What's your loadout?" And I play with you. I was like, "Ah, yes, you can play." I understand there won't be any mics because I don't speak Korean. And yeah, so good luck. But then kick nothing. I have yet to get any type of DMCA uh, violation tip off warning or anything i can just go on kick and play whatever the fuck i want facebook they just pulled my stream afterwards this content's not allowed yeah facebook's so weird even just trying to put music on videos like music in the background they'll just mute the entire video i mean i had a video when my daughter was born i was rocking her to sleep and they <laughs> killed the audio yeah which is oh, cool i i did that too i did the same thing where like i think it was apple did a mon uh, yeah a montage a compilation uh like the first six months i was like oh this is cool let me upload this um and then i put it on facebook it's just me i was like oh, that's awesome the music yeah. definitely helps but it's funny now because i can't play just for example i can't play Sh uh shake it by eminem 
on fa on the Facebook live stream. But I can create a Facebook reel and use their catalog, which also has Eminem Shake It. Yeah. And I can use that. I can use it from their catalog, even though it's the exact same fucking version as the version I own. And not like I not like Apple Scription own, like I own the the physical copy, I own the CD. Yeah. And they're like, no. <laughs> Fuck you. Nope, that's <laughs> Make it make I'd sense. I'd say they were guys. Guys were getting hits for the music in Call of Duty whenever the the rock tracks and stuff like that would happen. Yep. They were getting the same thing for those too. I get like, well, I, I own the game. Yep. So I was like, well, okay. you don't you don't own anything digital. Sony has proved that. Yeah. But but, yeah. Well, <laughs> but like WWE 2K24, I streamed I think two or three days worth as it came out and I didn't get hit day one, not all day two, not all day three. I got hit on all four platforms or three platforms. Sorry. So Facebook, YouTube and Twitch all basically told me, eh, we had to pull your video. We had to mute it because the soundtrack, which by the way is only at a volume 10. I cannot hear it on my headset at all. And my little, uh, audio meter does not register it. Unless, like, I do a body slam, for example. Then you can hear the snippet of music for, like, two seconds. And it's like, nah, music violation. That's Post Malone. You don't know that. You have... Yeah, bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, it's... Listen, the DMC is just weird. I mean, it's... it's if they weird. want to slap you with it, they're going to do it anyways. But yeah. I look like I haven't had anything yet. I just had myself muted, like, talked about before. Yeah, it looks like Kinky can pretty much get away with anything and everything. For right now. Somebody got away with the uh, nude stream. I don't doubt that. No, no. It was a I mean, hot stream. Uh, and she's like, oops, my top fell off. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, she get away with it on Twitch, too. She yeah. get a 24-hour ban, she'll be back. I'm just saying, if I did I it... Wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. Oh, yeah. I, I'd probably be register. <laughs> Red sure if it's. <laughs> this is a children's app. It does. You must be 18 to watch this. They clicked OK. Like a small Yeti in a hot tub. I'm not that hairy guy. <laughs> oh, you like to tell my wife, I can prove I'm not that hairy. I'm not going to do it here. It's a little too <laughs> sensual. Let's go. Whip it out, let's go. Take the shirt off, spin it around. <laughs> it's really like, oh. zoom in closer. I need to see that tattoo. Nope, I don't think you do. Those nipple tassels you're wearing? What the hell? I just got off work. You leave me alone. Who wears those under their shirt? Just got off work. <laughs> Salty rib. It was just a long night. Leave me alone. <laughs> I hope that's a I hope that's a gentleman club or a female club. A female club's called. I know. Salty would be a good one though. That would, that would be a good one. It would, de it would definitely lead into some into windows. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, before we just wrap this up, great note to leave this on. Um, while you were gone, I was talking with a buddy. Salty oh, rooms? I was talking with a buddy that's uh, still, not still, but he retired and he's over in Germany is where he retired because he's married to a German lady. And he was talking about how him and his wife went to Red Light District and they went to this specific club that uh, they took me to years ago that does like sensual massages. And by the way, I didn't know what type of massage these were. Uh, there yeah, is the Red Light and, District. You know. This was like my first week and ever being there. I was not aware of this. I knew the things I knew about Germany was World War II. Hitler killed a bunch of people. Holocaust is still super bad, but not being taught nowadays. And we don't talk about it over in Germany. And Marines will get you fucking killed because they're stupid. So that was my briefing. Oh, and uh, 
don't let Middle Eastern men get you kicked out of a bar. There's a huge issue with uh, men being assaulted. Just, yeah. Anyways, they were telling me that they were going to this, to the red light district and to this club. And he's like, my wife and I are sitting there and we're both getting lap dances and we're getting ready to go to the back where they do the deep tissue massage and they, they like to quote, tease you with candle wax. Fucking burns. Burns. Well, yeah. it's, it's hot wax. Listen, of again, burns. they were talking in German. I did not know German, or I did not know enough German to understand what was going on. And he was my translator, and he was a piece of fucking shit at the time. Good guy, though. <laughs> Other, outside yeah, this moment. Good guy. Good guy. guy. <laughs> but, but anyways, he's like, we're in, we're in the middle of the, the massage, and I stopped, and I told my, my masseuse, I was like, hey, one second, one second. Why are there no windows in here? All the other major stores on the red light district strip have windows for like the window girls and window guys. And she goes, why would you want a window in this type of establishment? The thing is sex draws you in. So you see the fancy ladies and you go, oh, this is my cup of tea. You go in. I don't think anybody outside wants to see you getting a, a massage or anything special via window. That's, mm -hmm. that's not good for business, especially some of our clients should not see themselves naked. <laughs> but that led me to going, huh? Why don't strip clubs have windows? Like it happens at night. When that draw people in, it's just have super tinted like frosted windows where people can see the lights and the glimmer and everything. They can't see the ladies or the gentlemen. They can't see anything, but they can see the lights shining through. And then my other thought was, oh, because if my ass was driving by and I see flashing lights. I'd be driving all of a sudden be like, oh, look at that. <laughs> so we went down a rabbit hole for like two hours talking about that, about windows and gentlemen clubs. So, yeah. You left me un unsupervised. You left me alone. Oh, I leave you unsupervised. I'll send your time about salty rim jobs. And when uh, I did not say salty rim jobs. <laughs> this is not a margarita. You stop it. But it was an interesting conversation. I just want to talk about that, that subject, though, of the reviewer reviewing of live streams, because that seems to be such a, again, polarizing subject right now. And the amount of people talking about it, at least on my For You feed, it seems like every third or fourth video is one of those. This last three weeks, I'm just like, this is, they cannot be this big of an issue, but it's a bunch of different streamers. And when I go look at them, sure enough, they're doing it. So they don't respond to, why do you do this? What's the point? And yet they're getting like 30, 40 subscribers in, you know, their two, three hour stream that they're doing. The people they're watching gets maybe a follower. Maybe. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm going to talk to Rago about this. See what his yeah. his forty year old ass thinks about this. I guess do you? Do you boo boo? It's 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 gonna happen. It'll stop it. Like I said, like you said, unless you're gonna go through the stop what you're doing and go report it if you don't have mods. Yeah, I have so. mods, but he's also playing games with me. Kind of defeats <laughs> the purpose. <laughs> <laughs> mods delete it. Hold on, I'm trying to save you from dying. <laughs> do you want me to save you, or do you want me to report? Damn it. <laughs> Can't you do both? You yeah. got two hands. <laughs> Get one of your little minions. Have them do it. <laughs> Figure it out. Daddy needs help. His stupid friend is struggling. Please report the dude. But if you want to see us play Call of Duty and see why I'm saying I'm not great at the gameplay, which is funny because if I say I'm shit on Thursdays, you're all for it. You're like, stop being fucking shit. Stop it. You do suck ass. <laughs> shit talking glory. But I got a compliment at four minutes and 50 seconds. At least that's what I wrapped up. I will be, I will be clipping that. 
I'll stay it tuned. <laughs> Told you what she need to work on. It's like after you do that, you'll be a little bit better. If you're I way better than you did when you first started. You first started. I didn't know how long we were gonna last. I was like, this is not this is not the kind of gameplay I want to have. I'm a lot right better now than, and drag around these than, than I was when I returned to Call of Duty Warzone. Because when Warzone originally came out, I was real I considered myself really good. I wasn't dying a lot. I was getting twenty plus kills. I was doing good. I was surviving. I was winning. And then I stepped away like a few months before fucking Godzilla King Kong came out. And I was like, this is all trash. I think I played one or two rounds with you during that event. Yeah. Going, you, what do they do? Nothing? They These giants do nothing? Great. Nothing at all. So. Well, that was also when uh, I couldn't use Discord either, so you got frustrated. You had to use in-game audio, and you hated that. So. Because I would hear, I'm an app. What? Yeah. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> use Discord. I can't. Use it on your phone. Talk to me that way. No. Fuck. I can't do that. I I had to fucking throw my phone because <laughs> I have a headset on, and then trying to hear my phone. And the game. What happened? You just get a little earbud and you just type it in there. So I'm like, you just don't, you just don't talk to me. I say you just run. Just run. And I'll kill. <laughs> I'll pick you up as you fall. <laughs> but. Yeah, check us out Thursday nights uh, on a respective platform. Roggle's over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Roggle, R-A-H-G-E-L. And of course, you can find myself, Sig, Twitch, YouTube, Face, Facebook, and Tick. My brain later just went done. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube face and stuff. <laughs> My brain just went, we're done talking here. YouTube, <laughs> Facebook, Twitch, and Kick at CyberMerkSig. One word, of course. Um, too long for me to spell it out. But anyways, check us out every Thursday night. We do play. And then, of course, follow us over there. Where you get more entertainment. And we are working on... I don't know why I say we. You ain't doing shit. I, I'm working on collecting and creating montages of Roggles and I weekly gameplay every Thursday night that we play, I'm collecting clips and highlights from that and putting it on our two guys, one game pad gaming highlight channel over on YouTube. Link should be listed down in the description as well. And that's right now. There's only one channel or one episode because it's fucking difficult. Roggle's not helping me. <laughs> Maybe since he's broke, he'll help me more, but we'll see. So go check that out. Oh, I got. What do you got? Say something. Sure, Say check something. out the Two Guys One Game Pad website as well for all the merch. Anything you want from an apron to what else is there? Glasses, a notebook, notebooks, all kinds of stuff. Tabards, I mean, literally anything you can think of. Phone case. We can more than we can get puzzles. We can get made, created something or other. Puzzles, what I want. Then you get a puzzle. I'll make a puzzle. Like a big fat head or something. I don't know. Yeah, check out that. Yeah, Thursday nights. Till then, bye, bitch.